All right, this is Dark Bones here, and welcome back to Let's Play Scooby Doo in the Cyber Chase. This time we're going to prehistoric jungle, and finally we get to see another Scooby level. Also, I just realized this is the fourth video I've recorded in two days. I'm actually recording at a decent rate. Can you believe that? I know I can't. Oh, I got hit by those bones. Why did I? I probably should not click this Scooby Snacks right away. Obviously. Yeah, this game is a would be a pain to 100%. That's why I'm not going to do it. Normally, I can, I'm a completionist, but yeah, for this game, I'm just not motivated. I'm sorry. I mean, I've never gotten even one level 100% before, ever. Well, I may have gotten one before, but I highly doubt it. Anyway... I really like the atmosphere of this level. One thing that I do notice, I don't know if my memory is just bad, or if the emulation is a bit, you know, glitchy, but, uh, I remember this area being a lot darker. This area was always hard for me because it was so dark. Okay, now it's starting to get a little bit darker. But still, I don't know. This level is kind of hard for me to see. Yeah, I really like the atmosphere of this level. Even though there's some parts of the level design I don't really like, like those stupid falling bones that don't even make sense in all honesty. But, I mean, it's a video game. It doesn't have to make sense. Just saying. I mean, not that anything else in this game has really made much sense, but... You know, why did I jump into that? Why did it still hit me after it dropped? Whatever. But it's one of those things that did not hurt you after they've already dropped. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Maybe I... <laughs> Either way, I'm, I'm wrong in some way. Maybe I'm wrong that they don't hurt you. Maybe I accidentally jumped into it and didn't realize it while it was still falling. Maybe it was both. But we're only already done with a level one and, uh... Yeah, if you can't tell, this is actually a, a pretty short game. I mean, we're already about halfway through. There's only seven worlds in this game. But, uh... Oh, man, now the emulation's getting really glitchy, but whatever. Maybe it's because I loaded a safety on the title screen to skip all the loading up stuff. That's probably it. Yeah, if you're wondering, I safe stayed on the title screen so I didn't have to sit there a minute when I reloaded up the emulator. Yeah, you know, I, I closed it up while I was rendering the other video. Yeah, this is actually recorded not too long after the uh, Ice World. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually recording at a decent rate. Can you believe it? Also, I love this atmosphere in this level. I fell in the water. I don't know why, but I just love this little island so much. I don't know why. I also, wait. I mean, I know it's not impressive. But I really like the grass texture on these islands, too. It's really cartoony. Which is probably why I like it. It's really fitting. Wow. I also love uh, how every single little island... If you haven't noticed it yet, I mean, we only saw two of them. But yeah, every little one of these green islands, is, and the brown dirt ones, of course, are shaped exactly like that. That little, um, pentagon. At least I think that's a pentagon. One, two, yeah. Hold on, is it? One, two, three, four. Oh, excuse me, a hexagon, whatever. Just like, I thought that was five sides. Apparently I cannot do basic math. I actually died to the dinosaur. How did I actually die to that dinosaur? But yeah, seeing that dinosaur reminds me of the picture that is on the back of the case of this game. And it also reminds me, in the, uh, in the manual, they actually go ahead and spoil all the worlds for you. Now, that would give me an excuse to go ahead and spoil it for, for you guys, the other worlds of this game. But I'll just let you find it out. I'll just let you know that uh, all the worlds from in on out, the themes are really cool. Well, I mean, I don't know. It depends on your view. I, I think they're really cool. They're certainly creative. 
Also, this is this is the point in the game where you start to see just how bad the platforming can be. I'm pretty sure that, oddly enough, the last world actually is lacking in platforming. I mean, there's a couple of hard jumps, but they're not over pits or anything. And, oh, my hand is killing me for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I almost said that I don't care, but I kind of do care. Apparently not all the islands are that shape, because that one was different. Yeah, for the most part, they're the exact same shape, even though they may be rotated a little bit. You know, obviously to give it a little bit of variety. Actually, I think this might be just a scaled up one, I'm not sure. Oh, I actually survived that! And then I didn't. Yeah, I'm doing really poorly on this level for some reason. The sad thing is, I'm still having more fun on this level than in the Rome level with those terrible jumps from heck. Oh my gosh, I hate that part so much. I hate some of World 6's jumps too, but World 2's are the ones that stand out to me just because why are they that early in the game? At least World 6, it's following a somewhat decent difficulty curve. Alright, here's a checkpoint. We've got three lives left. Hopefully we won't lose. Wow, why did I try to jump that? Should have just leapt on the crocodile. Jumping on the... Yep, people. This game is teaching us that jumping on crocodiles is perfectly safe. Go out and do it, except don't, okay? I don't want to be held responsible for that. I do not want to be held responsible for what will happen if you jump on a crocodile's back in real life. Let me give you a hint, though. It probably won't be very pretty. Okay, these things. These things are very annoying, if you don't know the timing. I know the timing, but I screwed it up. You have to uh, let them attack, run by their head... And, uh, pray you don't get hit, pretty much. It's also doing poorly. This one's a little bit different. You have to wait for the tail to pass. Or not? Oh. This one you had to jump over the head. And I still failed at that, so let's hope there's some health in here. Or better yet, an extra life. No, just health. Ah, oh, well, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, this bridge... Sadly enough, I died on the first part. Because the first part is by far not the hardest part of this bridge. I've died quite a few times on uh, this second part. If you can't tell, okay, at least we got an extra life. The, uh, the parts that are slightly darker brown, they fall. Just thought you might want to know that, in case you're curious. So that's why I hightail it when I'm on those. Uh, is there a, uh, I don't think there's a cheat function on here. Nope. I was hoping there would be, so I could cheat and get more lives, but I guess not. Woo. Surprised I made that. No, 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 no! Oh, man. What? Oh, I'm going to do all that again. I hate it when this happens. Ugh. Well, let's play the level again. I'm going to start smashing these eggs. Maybe more of them have extra lives. Is that one did? And at the very least, I'll get pies for if I decide to not run by these enemies. But yeah, if you're wondering those large dinosaurs that I was going around, no, you can't kill them. That's why I didn't. And also, most of the other enemies in this game 
are pretty fairly, uh, not this game, but this, this area, I don't know why I actually got hit by that, but yeah, most of the enemies in this area are very easy to dodge. Heck, these enemies are actually slow enough to maybe, may, what? Also, what I don't get is how come Scooby can't swim? I mean, he's a dog. But whatever, let's forget it completely about that. <laughs> and get back to what I was saying. These enemies are so slow, they, al they almost make the butt stomp viable. Yeah, I know. Let me show you. Let me try to kill- Yeah! The butt stomp actually is useful against these things. I don't have to even use my pies. I mean, sometimes they run a little bit faster like this one. If you time it right, you'll still kill them. Whatever, I'm not going to keep trying with you. Yeah, the butt stomp's still worthless. In all honesty, uh, I probably shouldn't keep trying at the level. But then again, I, uh... Said that about Rome, didn't I? And wound up making it through on that try. So what in so what do I? Swear the momentum is so bad. Actually I didn't notice the enemies came back after you died. I thought they stayed. I mean I know collected items sure don't stick around. Be nice if those stuck around. But, uh, they don't, so, uh, yeah, good luck, Scooby. Good luck. What? What? Okay, I am getting really, really, you know what? I'm just going to suicide. It's not worth it. Sorry, Scooby. I love how after I hit the button, the phantom virus still starts to talk. Whatever. I guess they don't expect you to be mashing the uh, X button as soon as you get a game over anyway. But I mean, it could still happen, because maybe people don't want to sit there and watch the, the phantom virus laugh every time. Just saying. Maybe. Maybe, you know... Maybe it'll get a bit tiring really, really fast. Maybe I'm just abnormal and every other person in the world would love to hear him laugh over and over and over. Nah, I'm just kidding. It gets very old really fast. It's kind of awesome the first couple of times to get a game over, I guess. Only because the Phantom Virus' voice acting is so epic. In all honesty. But seriously, it gets sick in <laughs> after a while. Uh, Alright, our third bad run. I sure hope I don't have to speed anything up. I mean, I didn't for the rest of it. I mean, sure, I lost a heck load of lives. But, uh, hey, may may maybe you guys... What? What? I... I hit the jump button again. Scooby did not double jump. Whatever. Maybe the fail is entertaining. But I cannot believe I got nearly to the end of this level. And then died. I mean, he even saw the stag. It's terrible. Which means... Just think about World 6! I mean... Actually, now that I think about it... With the LP curse and all that, if anyone knows what that's supposed to be, is when you say something's going to be terrible, you get it done on your first try, and then when you say something's really easy, you die to it several, several times. Yeah. Just watch. Just watch me build up the entire rest of the game to World 6, and then me get through World 6 easily. J just watch. Just watch, you guys. You guys will never get to see just how much pain and torment and suffering that I've had on that level. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's nowhere near as bad as World 2. Yeah. That is pretty sad. 
Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase is probably the only game that I can honestly say that something in World 2 is harder than something near end game. My gosh. Okay, that was glitchy, but I will take it. I am really not liking this virus right now. I'm really not. Oh no! I love how Scooby can save himself from falling off the edges in this particular level, but not in any other level in the game. And also how just off these little bitty islands. Not to mention it's really glitchy and he goes through the ground. But hey, I'm not complaining. That saved my life a couple of times. And he kind of do need the extra help for the terrible platforming in this level. So maybe the program has decided, well, let's try to code this in and give some mer give give the player some mercy. What? Oh, oh, they can go through the ground with this? Oh, let's not fix that glitch. We already gave them mercy. What more do they want? Yeah, but in all seriousness, I don't know why I'm having this much trouble with this level. I never did when I was younger. I got through this level first try when I was younger, except for the bridge at the very end. What's worse is that bridge. I, I know I already said this, but yeah, that literally is the very end. There's a dinosaur right after that, and then the box. What? Wow. This video is just full of fail. Come on. Come on, Scoob. No! My god, the terrible controls! I... I swear to god, I hate the controls in this game so much! Why am I having this much trouble? And I really want to show you the boss. Because the boss cracks me up every time because of what it reminds me of. I mean, it probably won't. Now that uh, I already chuckled about it off screen not too long ago and got it out of my system. So hopefully I can pretend it's intimidating for you guys. And here's the annoying dinosaurs. Just tank them. Just tank them, Scoob. And pray for some extra lives while you're at it. Alright, here we are at the bridge with only two tries. It's almost not worth getting that checkpoint. We only have two tries at this, people, so let's make them count! Oh, wait. If we could make it over here, we have three tries. If we stomp this egg. I almost forgot this extra life. Whew. My heart is pounding really hard inside my chest. At Scooby Doo. What the heck? The first try? Why is my luck so bad? It's the LP curse, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just watch. Just watch me beat World 6 easily because I said so much about it. Alright. And now it's time for the most terrifying boss in the game. A T-Rex. Yeah, but just look at this T-Rex. As soon as the fire bombs are done, and oh no, lag is going to make this part unbearable. Lag! 
please tell me that it's not going to lag during the boss, because that's going to make the boss actually hard. Ugh. Come on. See what color that dinosaur is? What color is that dinosaur? What color is it? You guessed it. Barney Purple! They made the T-Rex! Barney Purple! I'm beating the crap out of Barney the Dinosaur! It's made even more perfect by the fact it's a T-Rex! And I'm pretty sure Barney was supposed to be a T-Rex. Oh, sure, now the lava doesn't lag? My gosh, who made that design choice? Who made the T-Rex Barney Purple? That just makes me take this boss absolutely not seriously at all. And on top of that, look how easy he is. The only real threat is possibly the last phase, where he actually turns at you while he's attacking, and then can stun you if you don't jump at the right time. But seriously, who wanted to make the T-Rex Barney Purple? I'm sorry, I cannot get over that. That is hilarious. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. That's exactly what I was talking about. And what's worse is they unstun you. Like, the stun wears off right before he starts charging at you. So it makes you think you can dodge him, but you barely can. Aw, oh, crap, 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 crap. Well, either way, I've got him now. See how easy that was? I only got hit on the last phase. Not the firebombs, they're a joke. You can see them coming from a mile away. I'm pretty sure in the manual, the in the manual the game says that's the most threatening part of this fight. <laughs> I beg to differ. I really beg to differ. All right, we're done with World 4. It gave me a surprising amount of trouble actually. And now next we get to go to World 5, and you got, I guess, a glimpse of World 6 there, if you can guess what it is. Anyway, tune in, tune in next time to, uh, let's play Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase. We're going to be doing the big city. This is Dark Bones signing out. See you guys.